Hurry up, coordinator. Our favourite Earth TV show is about to start. It's the only Earth TV show we watch. <laughs> Still better than the rubbish telly on our planet. I like the telly on our planet. It's blurgling on ice, the blurks factor. I'm a fungal angeloid. Get me out of here. <laughs> watch any of that if you paid me. Only because you got verged off the blurks factor in the first round. Well, if they were too dumb to recognise my talent for poetry. I floated lonely as a star, they all could see me from afar, oh twinkly twinkly in the sky, oh lovely twinkly lovely ah. Oh. <laughs> Keep that going and I'll be voting you out of the airlock. <laughs> Hi, my name's Danny and this is my wonderful friend Sam. Oh, you're yeah, her best friend. As I was saying... I'm her best friend too, Toby. As I was saying, this is my show. That's me. I'm a brother. Get out of it. And I'm his best friend, Ben. As I was saying, my name's Danny, and this is my show. It's your show. Oh, it is my show. It's 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 my she can't hear you. Don't ruin the magic. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I'm up to my elbows and fake doggy do. You bet we are. Give me strength. <laughs> Sounds silly, but Sam and I are helping Toby with his new practical jokes business. Uh, Danny, what's to do? I'm doing it. Seems like he's got a hilt in his hands. What's next? Check for pearl pigs. Job top, Danny. Keep your hair on. Executive <laughs> fake doggy do. Check. Class A rubber cockroaches. Check. Extra strength sink bombs. Rotten egg compost surprise and granny's bin at the beans. Check. Check. And check. Let's box them up and ship them out, people. Business is booming. Hey, 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 we've got a system going here. And I'm letting you use my den, so don't push your luck. I'll test the whoopee cushions myself then. Too loud. <laughs> that was just right. Toby, I was wondering if I can get my money back soon. Your money? My birthday money that I lent you to help start up your jokes company. Oh, mm. that! Um, it's kind of tied up in the system at the moment, Sam. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go through the accounts. Um, you check the whoopee cushions. Them whoopee cushions. What are they like? Didn't you just throw that one out because it wasn't working? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> -ha, I wouldn't squirt. Ooh, congratulations. Your grand prize is Ben. <laughs> Hi, Max. What's that man doing in your garden? What man? I think he means me. <laughs> That's the man in your garden. But now he's in here. Freaky. <laughs> Hello, children. So, how are we all doing then? Parents home? Sorry, who are you? Oh, yes. My card. Edgar Malloy, estate agent. The very same. What are you doing here? Pop round to uh, put up your sign. Our house isn't for sale. Oh, well, I must have made a mistake. <laughs> Strange, it's the first mistake I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Look, Mr Molly. Malloy. Whatever. If this house was for sale, my parents would have said something. Oh, I've seen this a lot, you know. Children are usually the last to know. Still, never mind. Perhaps your mummy and daddy will buy you a new dolly with the money they make. Don't drop down to me. I'm not a five-year-old. Um, is that better? <laughs> Perhaps they didn't want to mention it in case Danny tried to stop them. And you are? Max. My card. <laughs> Max Incorporation, the solution to your problem. Yeah, nice slogan. Thanks. And here's my card. It's a bus ticket. <laughs> I've drawn a cat on the back. <laughs> Look, if you've all finished networking, we've got a problem to sort out. I take instruction from the parents, not the offspring. Yeah, nice place this, yeah. Lots of space, plenty of character. It should go for a decent amount of money. Is there a lot of money in being an estate agent, Edgar? Yeah, money and power. You see, when this sale goes through, I am going to become office manager and receive my own gold-plated mobile phone. Wow. <laughs> yeah, big time. I'm bringing some buyers over shortly, Maxi boy, so... Uh, 
Why don't uh, you and your little chums have a bit of a tidy up? Danny's not my chum, she's my sister. Hmm, I know how you feel. I've got a big sister. <laughs> That was a man going places. Max, aren't you bothered Mum and Dad put the house in the market without telling us? Why would I be bothered? Don't you remember the deal we made when we moved here? I want the big room! I want it! I want it! I want it! Stop making that noise, you little brat! Not until I get the big room! i tell you what, how about I have the big room this time, and then if we move house again, I promise to give you first pick of the bedrooms. Ha! Okay. Now sign this wiggly binding contract. <laughs> Perhaps you should give your parents a ring. If they didn't have the decency to discuss it with me, there is no way I'm speaking to them. Well, if you lose the house, where am I going to run my business from? Never mind that. Our best friend might be moving to the other end of the country. She's probably only moving around the corner. What am I meant to do with all my business cards with this address on? <laughs> Couldn't you have run it from your own house? Mum and Dad had a bit of a sense of humour failure over some exploding false teeth. <laughs> now my poor aunt's going to be on a soup only diet for the next month. I'm sure someone with your connections will think of something. I'll make some calls. <laughs> Honey, joke phone. Yep. So what are you going to do? Find my real phone. I'm talking to Danny. Well, apparently the house will get sold quicker if it's tidy, so... See you in a bit. Let me guess. You want our new Jolly Burger Mexicana with extra jalapenos and chili cheese plus a side order of nacho fries? Not exactly. I just... A Jolly Parisian Deluxe with onion rings, garlic dipping sauce and crispy frog nuggets. No, I just... A triple Jolly Icelander whale burger and blubber sauce with herring flavour fries. I only want to... Apple pie. Cherry pie, chicken pie, chicken wings, chicken beaks, chicken feet. <laughs> what do you want? Just tell me what you want. I want to buy your rubbish. Well, why didn't you say so? Do you want fries with that? <laughs> yes, I found my calling, Ben. I'm going to be an estate agent. And I'm going to be an estate agent's friend. I may ask Edgar to be my mentor. Behind every great man, there's a greater, wiser man. Harry Potter has Dumbledore. Anakin Skywalker had Obi-Wan Kenobi. And Tazdek. <laughs> Toby, as much as I'm impressed by this new business like you, don't you think we should be doing something to help Danny? I can't help Danny and work out how much money I'm making. I mean, do you want your money back or not? Yes, but... Well then, sometimes business has to come before friends. And tonight on Office Junior. <laughs> so tell me why you two think you're right for this job. Well, I'm a natural business person, I'm a people person, and I really need the money. <laughs> Whereas I have carried out a full financial risk assessment over the next five years with fiscal projection. Shut it! Both of you. <sighs> I need to make a decision. This isn't going to be easy. But I have now made that decision. That decision. The decision what I have made is the decision I'm going to reveal to you now. Danny. Sam. I have made my decision. Get on with it! You're both fired. Final touch. Et voila. <laughs> Danny, I've got a deal for you. If you promise not to ruin the sale, I'll rent you my bigger bedroom when we move. I've already got the bigger bedroom, and that's how it's staying. What happened in here? That's Edgar. Oops. I couldn't imagine anyone wanting to buy the house in this state. <laughs> 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 Don't you dare. Times eight. Times eight. Which comes to... Ooh, <laughs> another customer. I'll take it out in the hall. Hello, Toby's Rib Ticklers. <laughs> Your Majesty, this is an honour. It's, it's Buckingham Palace. What's that, Mom? 
You want a dozen rubber chickens and a vat of our best fake vomit? <laughs> Mum, just go along with it, yeah? He's never going to get this done. What the heck is this? So, how'd your plan go? Put it this way, if I was feeling this place, I'd take one look at the living room and go straight back out again. Was that behind your back? Nothing. You need to take a look at this. Welcome to the house. Welcome to the house. Welcome to this very nice house. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. Max, I'm running out of material. Just keep stalling, I'm nearly there. Welcome to this very nice house. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. Bold and well to do. Son, son, if I was a judge on strictly lame dancing, I might be interested. Really? I'm a busy man. I need to get inside. Time is money. I thought time was a way of knowing when to go to bed. <laughs> Max, finally. Um, this is uh, Mr. Morgan. He's come to view the house. Welcome to the house. <laughs> now then, do come in, Mr. Morgan. Treat it like your own home. Oh, very nice. Very tidy. Mm. Lots of character. You know what else has a sense of space? What? Space. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, the old ones are the best. Well, who'd have thought the royal family would be so into their jokes? Big order, was it? Oh, it's going to put this company on the map. Fake vomit by royal appointment. That's good. It's about time you made a sale. I've made loads of sales. Business is... Booming, so you keep saying. Only, we've just been having a look through your accounts to see how much money you've made. And the only thing in there is an issue of a comic called The Adventures of Captain Tadpole. <laughs> so how many jokes have you really sold so far? One, two, two, none. But business will pick up, I promise. When will it pick up? When? First of April. <laughs> you lied to us. We thought you were doing great. Uh, uh... I didn't want you guys to think I was a failure, and I felt bad about wasting all of Sam's money. <laughs> I got that money for my birthday. I was going to buy a Solar 3000 microscope. Don't hurt me. As you'll see, Mr Morgan, the den is a great utility area that can be put to many different uses. Uh, including a wrestling ring. Please, don't hit the face. Or the hair. <laughs> Ignore them. So, uh, why don't we uh, talk about how much you're willing to pay for the house, Mr Morgan? I've drawn up a contract. All it takes is for you to put your name on the uh, proverbial dotted, and the house is yours. No! No, no, no. He can't sign. Wasn't he put off by the mess in the living room? What mess would that be? Seemed pretty tidy to us. <laughs> Mr. Moron. Mr. Morgan. Please don't buy my house. I don't want a smaller bedroom and I don't want to move away. Please, I beg you, kind sir, have mercy. I knew those acting lessons would come in handy one day. Excuse me, but would you like to buy some practical jokes? I'll give you a good deal on revolving bow ties. Yeah. I think I've seen enough, Mr. Malloy. I'll be in touch. Um, no, 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 no. I, 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 I've drawn up the, uh, the contract. I mean, you, you can't leave. <laughs> I'll be in touch. What do you think you're doing? I need this sale. And I need this house. I'm not giving up, sister. Neither am I, Ichabod. <laughs> you may have put off Mr Morgan, but I have got other buyers up my sleeve. And sooner or later, one of them is going to sign this contract. And then it'll be goodbye Danny's house. Hello, office manager's job. Actually, Edgar, I wanted to discuss whether you needed an apprentice. Oh, you're uh, putting yourself up for the role, are you, Max? I can't believe you tried to sell your jokes to that Mr Morgan. Well, I've got to sell them to somebody. You need your money back. There's a time and a place! Oh, I can't do anything right. That's perfect. What is? Your fighting is brilliant. I need you to keep it up and I need a disguise kit. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. How can I help you? Do you sell disguises? Disguises? You've come to the right place, madam. They happen to call me the man of a thousand faces. 
All right, it's more like 100. <laughs> OK, 70. All right, all right. They call me the man of three or four faces. <laughs> <laughs> now you see me? I know you don't. I really don't know why I keep coming here. <laughs> this is my sister's room. Apologies for the stench of perfume. I'll disinfect before you move in. <laughs> And you don't support me in my career, you wrinkled, po-faced old... old oh, yeah, you wrinkled, po-faced old what? Well, your career's a joke, literally. You're reckless, you don't think ahead, you're an empty-headed, egotistical, slovenly wretch of a man. Oh, really? Well, at least when I insult people, well, I use words they can understand. <laughs> um, uh, what's going on? Sorry about this, bit of domestic. These are our neighbours. What? That always fighting. They came round to tell us about the sewage processing plant and off they went again. What sewage processing plant? The uh, sewage processing plant we're building in our back garden. A lot of money in sewage. You can't build a sewage processing plant on a residential property. Why not? It's all organic. Yeah, we're getting our own herd of cows too. The manure will be fresh from the source. <laughs> barely hit the ground before we pump it back up into our sock back. <laughs> You'll even get used to the smell. Eventually. <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> what on my uh, hair? Yeah, yeah, you're rumbled. Mm. Our real neighbours are a quiet elderly couple who keep to themselves and collect photos of Will Young. <laughs> this is war. Bring it on. No big sister has ever stopped Edgar Malloy from getting what he wants. Now, this room, uh, has an Australian thing. <laughs> Plenty of storage. <laughs> I didn't lie about my business, it was more of a slight untrue. To protect the innocent. It was a lie to save your own back. I've never lied to you. What can I do? Get me back my money. Mm -hmm. What is this? It's a brochure for homes in Florida. And these are airline tickets. You don't think... I do. Oh, I give up. It's like this stupid house almost wants to be sold. I'm just gonna have to accept that Max gets first pick of the bedrooms. Danny, there's something you need to know. <laughs> What's happened now? You remember when I said you'd probably be moving around the corner? Yeah. We think you might be moving a tiny bit further than that. A couple of streets along. <laughs> the other side of town. Next town over. Florida! Yes, Mr Morgan, it'll be an absolute pleasure to see you again. <laughs> Yes! Give me five! <laughs> so what's the news? Oh, Mr Morgan, uh, he's going to come round and give the house a second viewing. <laughs> yes. And that's good. Yes, yes, it's brilliant. I mean, it means he's interested. I think he's one tiny nudge away from making an offer. So Danny failed? Oh, yes. 159%. Put it there, partner. So I really can be your partner? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, assistant, apprentice, trainee, let's not run before we walk. <laughs> Every great man has to start somewhere. Yes, exactly. Just think where this could lead for you, Max. I know. Today, selling houses. Tomorrow, the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the entire... world. <laughs> Thank you, Vice President. It is with great honour that I accept the office of President. My first act will be to outlaw all big sisters. As a younger brother myself, I know that they are a menace to society and must be stamped out. <laughs> <laughs> Sir 
So that's it then. I'm moving to Florida. The old gang's splitting up. We can still see each other. Yeah, using a really powerful telescope. We can come visit you in Florida. I don't know, it's quite humid over there. It might make my hair frizz. <laughs> I was joking. Look on the bright side, guys. At least we've had all these great times together. Imagine what life would have been like if we'd never met. Mm, what a disaster. I've just won the Nobel Prize for Science. <laughs> I'm the youngest actress to ever play Hamlet on Broadway. I found this down the back of the sofa. <laughs> Maybe we should think about something else. What's the big deal? It's not like Florida's the other side of the world. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. Maybe there's another way we can stop this. I just wish we could find a way to slow down time. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is going to sound strange, but do you sell anything I can use to slow down time? This is also going to sound strange, but guilty, guilty, flimble, flimble, wim, quim. That does sound strange. Can you help me or not? Actually, I do have such a device. They call it the Watch of Eternity. And it can slow time down? Slow it, reverse it, stop it altogether. How does it work? Just one press with the button on the side and... <laughs> wow! It really does work. You'll have complete mastery over the forces of time. Have you been using that watch? Who? Me? No. <laughs> doesn't stop time at all, does it? No, it doesn't. Can it even slow down time? Not really. <laughs> Well, it was worth a shot. I thought you might want to know that Mr Morgan's coming back for a second viewing of the house. Yep, and Max is going to be president of the world. <laughs> Tell them that yet. Before you get too excited, you ought to take a look at these. Mum and Dad are moving to Florida. With us? Of course with us. And the baby. We'll be stuck with one another halfway around the world. Will I be able to come? Uh, probably not. But I can't move to Florida. I've got to stay here. Become Edgar's apprentice. I'm a millionaire property baron. And president of the world. Maybe Ben could take your place. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> Hi, Mum! No, it isn't. It's your hero, Edgar, that's trying to sell our house. Textbook moral dilemma. So, you've got a choice, Max. You can help Edgar and move to Florida. Be away from your best friend. Stuck with me. Or you can help us put a stop to this. All right, you win. Well, I never thought I'd see the day. OK, so what's the plan? Well, it seems to me that the solution to our problem is staring us right in the face. <laughs> Toby, I need your complete jokes catalogue. Of course. I knew there was a reason why I lent him that money. I thought you were investing in a new microscope. And I can't think of a greater investment than to save Danny's house. Am I off the hook now? Yes. Come on, people. Let's roll. <laughs> Just the same. So, would you like to take one final look upstairs, Mr Morgan? No, 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 it won't be necessary. I'd like to take a quick look at the uh, small print before you put your signature on the contract. Well, maybe one last final look around. What's in here? Mr. Morgan? What's going on? Nothing, it's fine. I'll be fine. Just had a bit of a shock, that's all. Oh, my God. Yeah, we do have a bit of a bug problem, I'm afraid. Still, though, keep your company. Mr. Morgan, let me show you the waste disposal. Oh, oh, what is that smell? Oof. Smell? Oof, yes, no, he's right. There is a smell in here. It's awful. Uh, no, uh, actually. No, no, it's all in your head, Mr Morgan. There isn't a smell. Yes, there is. But it comes and goes. Soaked into the walls, you see. But you'll get used to it. Is that a pile of sick? <laughs> ah, yes, sometimes the smell can be a little overwhelming. Are you, uh, are you right, Mr Morgan? I'm, uh, really itchy. <clears throat> ah, that's the fleas. They keep the cockroaches company. Max, what are you doing? The 
number one rule of being an estate agent is don't tell them the bad stuff. <laughs> Got it. Let me take you on a final tour of the bedrooms. <laughs> Sorry, the house is built in an old graveyard. I've changed my mind. I really don't think I could live here after all. No. Don't let try and change my mind. <laughs> oh, it's amazing what you can do with rubber bugs, stink bombs, and itching powder. The fake sick was a great touch. We didn't use the fake sick. Sorry. So, Max, you're on their side now, are you? Sorry, Edgar. Yeah, well, I don't need you. I don't need anyone to sell this house. I'm Edgar Malloy. I always get my sale. This contract is for number 65. Yes, this house. <laughs> this is number 67. 65 is uh, next door. Which means this house isn't for sale. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I don't make mistakes. You see, I'm Edgar Malloy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be office manager. Face it, you messed up. <laughs> Edgar, I'm so disappointed in you. I think it's time you left our house, don't you? <laughs> 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 hey, now I do know why we're laughing. <laughs> Oi, square parcel, mate. Certainly, Danny. <laughs> why did you have to sell Max the entire stock of jokes? I had to pay Sam back somehow. You can get it. May I? Mr Morgan. You've not changed your mind, have you? Oh, no, I really don't want to live here. Good. Anyway, Ava got the address wrong. So I understand. I'd just like you to give this to your parents. What's this? Planning permission. I just bought the land that this house is built on. And the house next door. And every house in the street. What? I'm a property developer. I'm having the entire estate razed to the ground. And in its place, I'm going to be building this... Morgan Towers. Would you be interested in hiring an apprentice? Max! <laughs> What's going to happen to the show if Danny's house is demolished? I dread to think, Coordinator. What would we watch then? Repeat! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.